Yeah, I mean, that sounds like a pretty solid idea to me. Thanks, Nintendo! Alright, we're, we're live now. Oh, are we? Yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to share this to Discord. Uh, welcome, if anybody's here. Um, Hi! We are gonna be putting together this Labo set, hopefully. Um, I don't know how to check anything on here. I've never uh, streamed from my phone before, so I don't really know how this works. <laughs> Apparently that doesn't work in the YouTube app. Um, all right, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah. YouTube. We're going to share this on Discord if I can find a link. Hey, yeah, look, we're live. It worked. Fancy. Uh, <laughs> okay. This is the uh, not as much fun part, but I, I didn't know how to do this on my phone without, like, interrupting the stream and everything, so... At everyone. No. 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 What is happening right now? There we go. Babe, please don't lose it on a live stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sid's here, too. I don't know how to view my chat on here. Uh, somebody say so. Oh, hey, Paula. There we hey, go. Hey, it it works. Here. There's Sid. She's sitting over there holding that gigantic sized... Uh, you know, Batman it looks knife. super gigantic in my little tiny baby hands. You do have a little tiny baby hand. So this is Nintendo Labo. Uh, these are our fruit snacks because we're adults. I uh, hope you guys can hear me. I don't, I don't have like a... You know, I guess I could wear my AirPods and that way my audio would... I don't know. It doesn't matter. You guys just let me know uh, if you can hear me or if you can't hear me. Uh, but this is Labo. We're going to put it all together and uh, hopefully not rip any of the cardboard, which would be my, like, big fear with Labo. Sydney is brandishing this knife at me. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Look at that knife. She's brandishing it. I, I was just holding it so that I'd be prepared to slice the one piece of tape that's on this box. I wish I could, like, zoom in and stuff with this. Do you can I do that on the screen? Do this, or do you want to do this? Oh, look, I can. I can zoom right in on your face. Oh. This is great. I'm going to stream like this all the time now. Well, I'm going ahead without you because you're... Like, okay, we're opening Labo. I was trying to be super duper careful so that I didn't, like, cut more than I had to. I'm going to get a super close-up of my arm there. Uh, so I'm not a professional cameraman. Uh, but I do have this fancy gimbal thing, so I'm trying it out today. I also have uh, this tripod, which may come into play a little bit later when I need to use my hands. But for now, we're just going to unbox using your this. Hands. No, I'm not. Oh, this is the game box. I didn't even realize. You can put your name on it. Name. Nom. Nombre. That's pretty cool. The Hessman's on it. Oh, good idea. Can you open it? You just okay. told everyone our last name. Oh, uh, no. Well, everybody already knew our last name because when I comment on your things, I... I oh, that's I, true. Your I, account is just your yeah. name. Yeah. Uh, let me see who else was here. Ray was here. I don't know how to pull it. Oh, there's the chat. Uh, that's right, Paula. Hey, Doge. Hey, Kev. Uh, hey, Zero. Welcome, guys. Appreciate y'all coming. So, Sid's opening the game for us. Uh, we got all these parts, which I'm very not excited to mess with. Hopefully the instructions are very good. There's uh, this... I, I think this is sticker paper, maybe? Um, but it looks like it's kind of perforated. So that's good. Um, well, I can't reach the... I was fixing to take all the cardboard out and start throwing it in the trash over there. And I didn't, I know, I didn't think about it. 
So I'm pretty sure this is just a filler piece of cardboard, but I'm gonna oh, save it. To I'm it. gonna save it because who knows? This could be vital. This could be like the stand that the piano sits on or something. So it's gonna go right there. Oh, and I found my beanie. I've been missing it forever and I finally found it. It was in the laundry. It was in the laundry and I've been missing it forever. That tattles on me and I get so close to your face with this. It's awesome. Oh. Okay, there are a lot of sheets in here. Like, look at all of these. There's a lot of sheets of cardboard. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. And that's like one fifth of all of the ones that are in here. That's a ton of cardboard. I don't know if this is smart. Uh, so, like, look at that. Look at all that cardboard. It's like a billion pieces. So many cardboard cuts are going to happen. Yes. Like a paper cut, but on steroids. Wow, that's it's a ton of cardboard. Turn that over. So I want to tell you guys what my idea was uh, earlier today. I was, I was telling Sid, uh, okay, so you're going to put a blindfold on me, and then I'm going to put these together. I know now that there is no way Sid could have walked me through putting any of this together with a blindfold. There's no way. There's, um, there's so much cardboard dust that I'm afraid I might sneeze on stream, so. No, it's okay. I'll get right up in your face <laughs> when you do that. that. Um, so, let's see. Remove the game card. Insert the game card into a Nintendo Switch console and start the game. Select make. Oh, crap. We have to... Ah, dang it. All right, I have to go you get it. Have the Switch? You're in control. No, I didn't think about it. Dang it. Well. Dang it. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can still hear him, but... Dang it. Yep, okay. So. This is Labo. As if private stream was said, no. Alright, this is my switch. These are my shoes, or my house shoes. Oh man, we're desperate to fill this time if we're looking at... Oh, did y'all hear my foot shoes. crack? <laughs> this is like the most <laughs> underwhelming stream of anything ever. Whoa, did you guys just hear my foot joints? <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh, you're so right, Ray. That's wild. Damn. Oh yeah, and there she's and he's running out again. Your butt was here, Ray. It was. Ray just reminded me that his butt is where was where my butt is now. How nice of them. Kevin said that this is his favorite stream, even more than his wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this beats and, that, that lousy wedding stream we did. Um, and Paula said that we are not underwhelming. Your foot joints aren't underwhelming? I can't get them to pop again. I can never, ever sneak up on anybody ever because my ankle joints pop so much. <laughs> Paula said her foot joint super exciting. Isn't that why you married me? <laughs> it wasn't exclusively for the feet joints. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, that was quite a factor. And Kevin likes your Zelda. In traditional uh, form, the Switch case has Stop. nothing in it. No manual or anything. I wish there was a manual or like some kind of coming soon for Nintendo Labo or something. But So... My arms are super short. Can you hand me a package of... Delicious Lunch Buddies fruit snacks? These aren't very good. They've been sitting in the pantry a long time. They have. But you can still eat them. I mean, they're still <laughs> edible. Kind of. And Paula said, I would totally mar marry her for her foot joints. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the compliment there, Kev. Alright, uh... Ugh. Hold on, I'm going to sit down instead of 
doing this weird bend thing I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, because the card table is not at a good height for you to stand in and do stuff on the card table. None of this is ideal, yeah. but it's perfect. Okay, we'll just throw that over there. Fruit snacks. Yes. I wasn't giving you one. Oh. Man, those are pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right. Um, Labo. That's true, Kev. We have a full table. Hey, Mad Gamer. How's it going, man? If I could turn my camera around, I would. I guess I can do this. Hold on. Sid has to tell me when I'm pointed at my face, though. There? Right, kind right of right there? there, yeah. Kind of? Yeah. Right there? You're mostly. Should I be more up or? Downish. There. It doesn't matter. Okay, something's happening, so let's go back to this. When you put me on the spot, I almost joked. So, we're starting with make. First, we'll practice. What are we going to practice on? Oh, it looks like I need my uh, Joy-Con off of here. Yeah. Alright, so welcome to Nintendo Labo. Let's start with some make practice. Hold forward to make the video play. Hold. Release the button to pause. That's cool. Okay, so... Oh, Sid, you need to be able to see this. I didn't think about that. Mm. Um, Alright, so I'm going to come over there. Yes, I don't have to move. You I'll sure go. don't. Let's just put these up here. And we'll take this over here. See you later, Paula. Bye. E. Alright. Thanks for the foot compliment. Oh. And you sat on my knee. Sorry. Uh, okay, so we're making a Joy-Con holder. Are we? According to this. Hold forward to make the video play. Remove just this one part from sheet A. Oh. Hold forward to make the video play. Got it. Be careful not to bend anything. That's my darkest nightmare. Mm. That part, yeah. So Sid's removing the part that's highlighted uh, on here. Yeah, this is super easy to take out. Nice. It's perforated just right so that it doesn't just like explode out. Yeah. But. All right. Next. In the meantime, just keep sheet A stored safely away in the box. Oh, we're far past that. <laughs> We've already taken everything out. It's a good idea to keep the console charging. No. Using the touch screen, you can rotate the camera by moving your finger. Oh, dang. Oh, That's, wow. Oh, dang it. That's awesome. You need a new card table. So look at that. You can, like, see every angle of it while you're building. You can zoom. Ooh, fancy. We have two fingers to slide. Reset the camera. <laughs> now then, let's get practicing. Take a good look at the screen to make sure it matches with what you're building. Yeah, that matches. Okay, forward. Notice the back and front are different. Start with the front facing down. Okay. The key to good Toy-Con construction is to crease firmly along the fold lines. Always check where the fold lines are. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. You can definitely see all the fold lines really well. So you can see what you're looking at. Oh, all right, then that was supposed to come out. Okay. Be sure to crease them nice and firmly. That will make things easier to build. I might keep a few of these little pieces. And okay. Put them in our uh, keepsake. Memories box? Yeah. All right. Um, we ought to show that off sometime. Let's see. Are you... I'm creasing. You creasing over there? Yeah, so Sid's doing what's on screen here. She's bending all of these creased parts. If the folded piece stands up on its own, that's a good sign. Don't worry if it doesn't stand perfectly straight, though. Oh. Okay. There are a bunch of foldable creases. Carefully fold them one by one. Yeah, we're good. 
Yeah, Sid's on top of it over here. She's going to finish before this tells us how. See how much easier it is if you crease all the fold lines at the beginning? This part is called a tab. It will be very important to remember. It will be very important to your building process. Okay. Carefully insert the tab into the opening. Make sure it doesn't get bent out of shape. Nice. You did it. <laughs> Sid's ahead of the game over here. How does it stand up, though? Just like, like that. that. Okay, let's keep watching just to see what else there is. Be sure it gets all the way in. Insert the second tab into the other opening. Yep, Sid did that. She's so smart. Your Joy-Con uh, holder is complete! Did I have to, like... No. You had to make it dance like that. Oh, dang it. I need more hands. I need five hands. There we go. It's not all the way in. Oh, now it's in there. Okay, there's a little slot in the back of it so that the shoulder button comes through. So now it's perfectly in there. You know what sucks about this table is that it's not level it's at all. It's slanted towards the middle. Uh, but it does stand. I mean, it. look at that. It's working. Nah, just five hands, Ray. Just like one out of each shoulder, my normal hands, and then uh, one belly hand, one back hand for okay. scratching purposes. <laughs> No arms this attached. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. All right, now let's attach. Be sure to push the Joy-Con all the way down. Can you see the button through the hole in the back? Sure can. Oh, done. They put the That's it for one. practice. They put this one. Yeah. Do we only get one of these Joy-Con holders? Cause... I'm sure it, different ones come with different ones. That makes a lot of sense. On to the real thing. This is really cool. I love the interface here. It's really snappy. Yeah. I think we're supposed to... Just like that, right? Sure. Makes sense. Ours landed already, though. Okay. We got RC car, fishing rod, house, I motorbike, piano. Why not start with RC car? Okay. Why not start with fishing rod? What? I don't know. What, you want to do RC car? Yeah, that sounds so cool. RC car. All right. What is this? Is this a hair? Yeah, sure Gross. is. That's awesome, man. Yeah, you've had this for like a week now, haven't you? Okay. Here we go. We're making RC car. There are two steps to complete. That sounds easy enough. Making the RC car and antenna. Take these two parts from sheet A. Okay, so those two parts. Uh, Paula, I paid $55. I think full price is uh, $70. I got the 20% off thing at Best Buy, so I paid $55. I wish I could see uh, what you're what you're doing over there. I can't put this in any better light. <laughs> it's okay. Here, I'll get it from the back. How's that? Ugh. Oh, that's even like even better because you're coming through. Yeah. Man, this is like the best thing I've ever had. This gimbal thing. Okay. Okay. Being able to okay. hold my phone like this is really nice. Go. All right, you did it. So that's one piece. What was the other piece? Uh, whoops, we're staring at the table. Okay. So I we see. need the uh, yeah the remote control piece that's right here. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh man, welcome to the game room while we're while we're doing it. That's a Batman poster. Uh, Ray's been in here before. Got my Mario thing on the wall, and it's got a whole bunch of pins stuck next to it and uh some other stuff uh i think you do have to buy um extra kits i mean new cardboard slices and stuff but you get all the base game stuff for free or not for free with this package okay now what all right sorry here we go 
Take these two parts from sheet A. The other pieces come in handy later. Yeah, got it. If you have trouble building, you can use the back and forward buttons to check how everything fits together. Got it. Make sure the piece is the right way up. Note, notice which side has printing on it. That side. Start with the printed side facing down. Fold along the lines. Make sure they're all well creased. Man, this is really exciting. It's one of the best streams we've probably ever done. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Here, I'll put the camera over here. How's that? Or like, I'll I'll do this. I'll have it there over the go. shoulder view. All right, so. Don't fold the round part of the antenna. I'm just telling you what it says. All right, here we go. Stretch the buttons to go faster. Okay. Um, oh, look at that. Neat. Thanks, uh, lizard. These tabs are important. Okay, well, Sid did everything already, so I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Crease these four tabs. Yep, I creased everything. Dang. Okay, here we're building. So you're you see how that goes? Make sure both tabs are on the inside. Watch the video closely. Like this. We're like a, a how-to video now. Even though we're watching a how-to video in order to make our how-to video. Insert the tab all the way into the slot. Nice. You're too good at this, babe. Too good. I'm good at reading directions. All right. Is it all the way in? Uh-huh. Okay. It really is. Okay, so now I think we're doing the same thing with the other side. Yeah. And then... Man, Sid's blazing through this. I think you're basically done with that. Yeah. There's nothing else to do with it. Is it all the way in? Sure is. As you flip it over, be sure none of the six legs get bent. So now we have our little uh, doohickey here. RC car is done. Now let's move on to the antenna. Start with the printed side face down. Once you're done folding the tabs on the left and the right, that's it, the antenna's done. Nice, the antenna's done. Attaching the Joy-Con. Okay, so we need the antenna to go on the switch, it looks like. Can you do that? Clamp each side into the rails? Yep. Hey, Corey. Does it fit well? Yeah, that's Neat. it. All right, so we did that. Even with your uh, case on there. Can I have a Sebastian voice for this tutorial? <laughs> uh, let's see. Did you insert both of them? The antenna is attached. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to be waving my arms. Let's attach the Joy-Con controllers. Are you ready? <laughs> Jeez. How's that? Uh, make sure the minus matches with the minus symbol on here. Well, I've got the positive yeah. side. So. Yeah, that's good. It doesn't seem... What, lined up well? No, it just doesn't, like, sit flush with the... Oh, uh, that's probably okay. Let's put the other one on. You have it. Oh, whoops. Dang it. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, I can get it. I can't get it. Yeah. I only have one hand. You just have to push it forward out of the little slot in the back. Oh, right. 
come out. Yeah, that's the voice from uh, Penny Punching Penny Punching Princess. All right, we got us a RC car. It looks like. I've tried to use the flip over the Joy-Con L. Oh, I guess you're supposed to put them in upside down for some reason. It may feel a little loose, but that's okay. Okay, we are done. Oh, I wasn't pointing at anything. I was just like over here. <laughs> well, I put them nothing. in exactly how they did, so. You sure did, yeah. Except I did it right side up. This is really neat how you can like zoom in on it and everything. Like, look, we can get right up there and we can see down to these tiny little details. How everything is supposed to sit. That's awesome. Good oh, I job, guess Nintendo. they do that so that you'll look at the bottom of it. Yeah. So, yeah, we did that. Yep. Did the Joy-Con controllers feel a bit loose? Not to worry. That's key to making the RC car move. The Toy-Con RC car is done. What does it look like to you? Looks like a bug. Yeah, it looks like a little bug. Play now. Let's we're gonna play. Oh no, we did something wrong. It's not blasting. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, when playing with the Toycon RC car, it best runs on a flat, smooth surface. Uh here, let's use this. Yeah, because this is too squishy. So we're gonna we're gonna try this. Yeah, we can put decals on it. So both at the same time, make it go forward. That's so cool. Come on, that's just awesome. A kid can make their own RC car out of some cardboard. Come on. Sid's in control now. She wants to wants to play here. It's going uphill, so it's having a hard time. Yeah, try to turn it. Yeah, no backwards control. Look at it go. That's so awesome. Take it outside. Why don't we take it to the kitchen table? There's stuff <clears throat> in the kitchen table, though. That's okay. Field trip! I'll get the Toy-Con car. Okay. And you get yourself in the switch. I gotta move all this crap. Oh, dang it. I'm breaking everything. I'm gonna take my water bottle. Okay. Field trip. Uh, we should stop by the. Oh, did you get the car? Yeah. Oh, okay. Stop by the lottos. Yeah, we're gonna. This is a house tour now. Oh, There's okay. Sid. It's not as clean as it was. There's Sid. Uh, yeah, we're looking at the ceiling. Man, look at that ceiling. Whoa. Kitchen table is not very clean. There's uh, blankets on the floor. There's Sydney's office. Sid's computer is uh, a mess. mess. Shut up. Sid wants me to show you guys uh, these axolotls. These are really cool. Where is it? Um, you might be able to see it better from over here. Yeah, see, that's an axolotl. She just ate, so her tank is a mess, as is Here's his. Here's another axolotl. You see he's staring at that little tiny worm. I see that, yeah. All right, to the table! Or any other... We could just do it on the floor. <gasps> We've got the entire... We can get Lila in here. Lila! Here's Lila. <laughs> our puppy. <laughs> All right, Lila, go away. Go lay down. Lila, go away. Get get out of here. Go away. I'm going to take the RC car from you. Lila's a, just a mix. She's a mutt. She's a Chow German Shepherd Blue Healer mix. Lay down. She better not eat our RC car. Okay, here we go. Oh. Our floor is uneven. Well, that's okay. Onward. There you go. Yeah. 
It's like we're going on an adventure with it. Oh no! Lila, what's wrong? Lila's very confused by this. Put the camera on top. Uh, I can try to do that. Don't eat that, Lila. <laughs> She's scared of it. She That's my foot. <laughs> Poor Lila. This is so cool. Yeah, it is drifting a lot. <laughs> here, let's go to the table. Our floor slants down right there. We're going to go to the table. Oh, here's the cat, by the way. Hi. Or should we do kitchen? The kitchen is a little cleaner, I think. Let's do kitchen, then. Uh, well, I say that. But, yeah. There's stuff everywhere. It's because we live. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Is this pointing the right way? It goes that way, right? I think our counter is slanted as well. I think it's not gonna be perfect. No, no, I tease it. Oh, your first obstacle. Jump it. Go away, cat. Go away. I ran into a problem. I wanted her to see introduction it. Introduction to wellbore positioning. Oh, jeez. Man, look at that sweet drift. All right, time to go to the... All right, give me just a second. I can fix this. We're going to the table oh, now. okay, so we're going this way then. I don't know. I'm just setting up. Hey, Spy, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Yeah, we're uh, we're putting together our Labo kit, and we've got this sweet RC car. Yeah, this works a little bit better on the table. Well. Well, you know, I bet you could uh, adjust the frequency in order to make it do things differently. Let's see how that works. Yeah, this is pretty cool, man. All right, so Sid's in the control panel now. It's got a little camera. Well, let's see the camera. That's pretty sweet. So there's a little camera on the right Joy-Con, so you can actually oh, I can't see, see while you're doing that. You can actually see stuff on that little camera. See, there's my hand. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Bonk. So let's see. Uh, let's see about turning down these okay now try so we turn down the uh <laughs> all right let's do max power then go hold on hold on let me get over here let's get a good angle on this all right this is full power full power is too much power well, i guess it's just the speed so maybe put it just a little higher And see, so you can balance it out. Maybe move the right one up or down. Because this is right. Are you just doing donuts now? <laughs> Look at it go. It's so cool. I'll tell you. Do it. Uh, they're really vibrating. I want to give you like an obstacle course. 
Like, hold on. I'm going to give you an obstacle course. Oh, no, I was going to give you things to drive over. Oh. Like that. Um, get this bucky out of the way. <laughs> All right, so you're going to drive over this, and then you're going to drive over that. Okay? This is your new mission. <laughs> Is she gonna make it? Is she gonna make it? Close enough. And now over the air pods. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, that was awesome. That's really, really neat. Hey, why do you want this? <laughs> this is Bucky. Sid wants this on camera, I think. I just. I'm messing with you. All right, back to the game room. Now this is like a rocket. Hear that vibration? It's like, it's rocketing back. Will you open the game room for me? <laughs> <laughs> I was being a rocket ship. Well, I can't keep the rocketing if I'm opening doors. Sorry. See, this is what Nintendo is all about. And with that, I'm going to have a drink and I'm going to... Ah! I sat on my water bottle and it is very cold. Will you hold this so I can have a drink? Sure. Dang, I took my water out there. You want mine? <laughs> yes. So that's all really cool. Uh, let's turn this down a little bit. Whoa. Okay, so... I took my shoes off. How do I get out of here? Whoa, what is this? What? I wish that... I don't know how to capture you! Here, point it up. Like this. Yeah. So, I found... Um, it says you can connect two sets of Joy-Con. Um... So I'm gonna connect another pair. Where are my Joy-Con? I have like Dude. 500 of them. How am I supposed to know where your Joy-Con is? Right Whoops. Sure. <laughs> so it's just me again. Oh, there he is. I don't I don't know. Um I've been well, Kev. I've been so well. Might be some in here. Yes. Here's this. Alright, so we have Another pair of Joy-Con now. So check this out. And there's that. What? So if I had another... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Thanks. Hold on. I painted the Onyx myself. And the Bulbasaur. So you can... If you had another one... <laughs> you don't even have to have two copies of the game. If you just had another... Of these, uh huh. Then you, are you looking at my face? Yeah. Oh, well, if you had another one of these, my bad. Sorry. Then you could uh, put two sets of Joy-Con on them, and you could have like a little robot fight. Dude, that is. With one switch, you could just hold it like this, and. So many fights are gonna break out over that. <laughs> just like, just crush it. <laughs> All right. So how do I get out of this? Oh, here's some water. I can't imagine that being cold. It's not, but I like lukewarm water. You can have your Yay! Uh, okay, so let's see what we're doing next. It's hot in here. Are you hot in here? It is hot in here. You want to turn the fan on? This is cardboard, so I don't think it's going to blow away. I guess I should come back over there, huh? Yeah. Right. It maybe hand off the... Um... Whatever this thing is, your phone back to you, because I'm not very good at 
So we're just going to put all Record this in here right. for now. And we'll get started on our next one. <clears throat> here, you take this back. I'm not good at this at all. Oh, sure you are. No, I'm not. All right, so... I want to build the fishing one. The fishing one? Yeah, I want to do that one too. Or aquarium. Aquarium is pretty cool. Yeah, fishing or aquarium. Um, fishing will take... Oh, yeah. A lot of time, I bet. Let, let's do fishing. We're going to have to get the... This stuff. Out of here. Oh, boy. This is all fishing. Is that like six? Six sheets? It's A through F. Great. So we got a lot of sheets for fishing. Uh, so let's do that. I'm playing with the Toy-Con fishing rod. Be mindful of your surroundings. So don't <laughs> whack me in the head with this once like you're playing this? with it. Okay, it looks like we're supposed to be this way. Let's see if my case will work with us. Yeah, fishing is awesome. Yeah, uh, I was excited about the fishing. Attach the Joy-Con controllers to the fishing rod. Hold on, wait a second. No, 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 this I'm is in the wrong idea. place. I need to go back to make. Uh, back. Make. Fishing rod. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, you do actually get to customize fish. It's pretty sweet. I'm going to sneeze. What is this? Okay, we have five parts of this to do. So here we go. How are we doing on battery life? We have 30% of my battery left. Five steps to complete. Here we go. Grab the special parts in the plastic bag. You don't need to open them yet. Have those. Making the rod. Remove these five parts from sheets A and B. Be careful not to bend them. So all of the things from the sheets. Um, what you're removing oh, now no. is actually not something we're supposed to remove. Uh, yeah, so that thing... Yeah, Kev, I bet they're playing Labo Fishing right now. Who? The people we met on Fishing Planet. I don't think you were here for that one. That was one of those, like, late-night weird streams. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, ow. It's hard to open that. I remember you talking about it. Ugh. Man. I got a hair. Some good water. Hey. Go away, cat. Dang it. I don't mind her being up here. I don't want her sitting on the cardboard. Hey, hey. She's got some power going on. All right, so what were we doing? Oh, yeah. We're moving these five parts from sheets A and B. Is Spy Cakes not a mod right now? What's up with that? Spy Cakes has been a mod since the yeah. olden times. Yeah. I uh, I actually don't know if I can. Let me see. Can I? I don't know if you can do that from your phone. Add moderator. Boom. Dang. Man, this is pretty sweet. You can do a lot in this YouTube mobile app. Hey, Dave. <gasps> Dave's here. <gasps> Say it again. Dave's here. Dave is here. Uh, hey, Dave. We're putting together our um, Labo kit. And you missed a lot, man. This has been an awesome stream so far. We've gotten a lot done. All right. I've got two things from the five things that I need to remove. Uh, yeah. I guess I could help. You want me to help? Well, not anymore. I mean, my phone's going to... It'll it'll stand here if I just get it just oh, right. Geez. You're going to make If I get it just stay. right, it'll stay. Dang it. Maybe I can balance it with my... All right, babe. You're on your own. Well, the bigger thing I can get out. Easy scoopy. Cat, go away. Hey. <laughs> I used the viewers to get rid of the cat. Yeah, uh, most of the viewers would probably prefer you leave the cat. I don't know about that. 
yeah, mega game person I am. It's really, really cool so far. We've uh, we played with the RC car for a little while, and that was awesome. And uh, okay. now we're working on the fishing rod, so hopefully that okay. goes pretty well. You know what we should have yeah. done next? We should have done the motorbike next. Oh, man, this is going to get insane. We just got all these pieces laying here. You can, like, pull it. Hold on. Okay. And remove this one piece from sheet C. Well, I put... Oh, no, I didn't. I put this piece. Here, I'm going to start putting away these pieces that we aren't using. Do it. We'll put them over there somewhere. Oh, hey, Lila. Hey, bubbles. Oh, jeez. Hey, Lila, do you want to come sit next to me? Mm, nope, she's leaving. She's leaving. That's okay. Yeah, it, it came out today. I did pre-order it, but there were plenty of them at the store. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, Dave. I appreciate you stopping by, man. I, I wish you could stay. But, uh, yeah, I think I think this is a pretty informative stream so far. If you have any trouble... All right, what are we doing? The rod has three parts. Papa bear, mama bear, and baby bear. All right. Now let's get started on the first piece. There are three similar pieces. This one's the smallest, which is why it's baby bear. So Sid's going to baby bear this thing. Oh, okay, it's this one. I could, I could put the phone on the tripod if you wanted my help with this. Go for it. Right now we're just creasing. Oh, it's okay. Oh. And taking out these parts. I like these little circle doodads. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Make sure the piece is the right way up. Notice which side is printing on it. Yep, yep, yep. The key to good Toy-Con construction is to create... Yeah, I don't want to hear that every time. Let's fold along the main fold line so they're all this well creased. This is made for kids, too, so... Yeah, I know. Made for kids and 25-year-olds. I'm 26. <gasps> That's okay. That's not that old, babe. It's not old at all, actually. You're in the prime of your youth. Sure I am. Lizard's only half of our age. <laughs> Probably. Perhaps perhaps even even less. Oh. You of course you can, Paula. See that's the great thing about Nintendo. Paula's back? Yeah. That's the great thing about Nintendo. They just, uh, they make this stuff that's perfect for kids, but also fun for adults. See, I wish that I could do, uh, dang it. No, no, no. I wish I could have my camera turn around like this every now and then, but, uh, the problem is that I can't see where it's pointing, first off, and I can't see the chat at all when I do this, so I have to keep it pointed away from me like this i'm just gonna keep spinning it like that make everybody sick all right time to build insert the tab securely into the slot mm -hmm. and uh lizard you've been around a long time you've got videos on your mad gamer channel and stuff i mean i've watched your videos before so i know how old you are uh, roughly <laughs> Roughly, I know that I know that you're much younger than I am. All right. Now what? Hey Ben, good to see you, man. Line up the two rings and fold the tops. Okay. Line up the two rings. You sure could, lizard. That's a good point. Just hmm. Like that. Hmm. Why are you moving at me? I'm not. That's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. All right. Um, forward. Now we're going to add an eyelet. It's made up of two pieces, the grommet and the washer. This is the grommet. <sighs> there was a hair on there. Oops. I wasn't ready for this. Oh, that's awesome, Ben. Oh, Congrats. 
Lila. Lila, go away. Hey, buddy. Come here, bud. This is my my best friend, Forrest. He's very old. Come here, Forrest. Hey, buddy. No, Lila, get out of here. Lila, come here. Come here, bud. Come on. Come on, bud. Come to me. <laughs> Forrest. Lila just sat on the cat's head. And the cat can't figure out how to get down now. Lila. All right. What are we doing? Oh, yeah. Struggling. Oh, Forrest is coming now. Come here. He he gets weird every time I point the camera at him. Here, Forrest, come here. I'm pointing the camera at Lila's butt instead. Come here. Oh, jeez. Fine. Let's see. What did Ben say? Oh, doing well, Ben. Oh, your week starts on Saturdays. Got it. Come here, buddy. He's almost... Oh, oh, got him! Yeah! Hey, bud. Lila, get out of here. Lila, come Say here. hello to the people, Forrest. Sit. This is the Forrest show now. He's a good girl, huh? He uh, doesn't have any teeth, so now when he sticks his tongue out, it comes out of the right side of his mouth. But he's a majestic dude. He's been around since I was 14 years old. So he is in his last days. <laughs> Definitely in his last day. He heard me say that, and now he's looking at me like he's upset. All right, bud, go lay down. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, nice. You got the grommet and the washer in. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right, next. <laughs> Good old Nagos. All right. If you snap the wrong way, you can ask an adult to help you. Good thing you didn't have to do that, huh, babe? Baby bear is done. Fuck. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to let you do that, I guess. Yeah. I'll just be the cameraman. So now you're doing Mama Bear. Is that Mama Bear? Yeah. Because this is Papa. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Papa Bear is huge then. All right. You um, <laughs> communicate with the viewers and such. All right. Or communicate with me, and then we'll communicate with the viewers. We could go on a game room tour while Sid's doing that. Does anybody want to go on a game room tour? I mean, I'd have to, like, walk around for that, but... Uh, so this is my uh, computer. I, dang it. E. Uh, so here, let's do it this way. We're going to go out into the hallway. Here's a Lion King thing that Sid did. It's pretty cool. All right, so we're in the hallway. Time to go in the game room. There's my wife. There's our labo set. Cat. Ah! Thank goodness, stupid cat. Here's Forrest. Whoops. Low power. Uh, here's a Sega 32X in the box. And this uh, uh, is a Game Boy cartridge that I hollowed out and I put a USB into. Uh, so this flash drive is going to hold a physical copy of Squidlet uh, that myself and the developers are going to send to a gaming channel to see if it'll get covered. Uh, kind of an interesting little marketing thing. Uh, this is God of War. This just came out today, too. I'm going to play it later. Oh, crap! Oh, no. Destroying everything. Uh, this is where my games used to be, and now it's just an awful mess of a shelf. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff in here. Here's my Virtual Boy. I love the Virtual Boy. Uh, there's a whole bunch of games down here. But again, it's just, it, this is a big mess. And it's going to get cleaned up someday. Uh, here's a sweet lunchbox. Sam Koopa sent that to me. Uh, really cool. He sent me that for Christmas. Here's uh, some fight sticks. Some other stuff. Uh, this is Sid's mic. When we record stuff, this is the mic that Sid uses. Um, 
it's on this stand. Uh, when I record stuff, this is a tripod for my phone, just in case I ever have to mount it for unboxings or whatever. Uh, I haven't used it in a while, so I'm going to kind of try to move it out of the way. Ow! Dang it! Uh, so this is my mic on this, and it's yellow right now. Uh, usually it's green, but my green one kind of rotted away from overuse. Uh, so this is my computers, or my computer setup. Uh, that's my main computer down there. Hey, I'm putting Mama, ba Mama and Baby Bear together. This what? What they told me to do. And now it wants me to slide it in and out. <laughs> okay, good job. Uh, next up, uh, yeah, I was going to say, that's my computer. Again, that's uh, Forrest. He's awesome. That's my computer. Um, I do all of my recording and streaming off of that. Um this is a new addition to the game room. Uh, this is this is popcorn salt, <laughs> if anybody wonders. Should have started the stream with, I wasted my money on some cardboard. I don't know. I don't think it's a waste. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, the stream deck is pretty sweet, man. I, I thought it was a gimmick, but I use it all the time now when I record. Um, so, I use... These two monitors are for um, my computer, and a lot of work happens here. And then uh, this is a PlayStation TV, and I use that for consoles uh, that are upscaled. So that's basically my upscaling monitor. This is my all-in-one computer. I, my mother-in-law just recently gave me this, uh, and we use this to play... Switch games and uh, Wii U games or whatever while we're recording on the futon. So we pull the futon up here and then we play our games on that uh, little monitor there. So over here we've got the CRT TV. Um, we use this for all of these consoles that are in here. Uh, NES, there's a top loader NES I haven't hooked up yet. Super Nintendo, N64, GameCube, PS2, and Genesis. And then over here, Sid's still working. Uh, over here we've got Dreamcast, Wii, uh, 3DO. And then up there we've got uh, Odyssey 2. Uh, there's another Genesis in there. Uh, there's my 3DO box. There's another lunchbox. I like the old lunchboxes. Uh, and there's some other consoles uh, scattered up there, but again, that's like so covered in stuff that you can't you can't get up there to really see everything. There's Chibi and Amor uh, Chibi Amorazu there. Yeah. Well, this is yeah. Chibi, no, it's not. It's from I, Okami, then, isn't Chibi, it? Yeah. And wearing Chibi, my Mario Rabbit's hat. Chibi Terasu, something like that. I don't know. And then there's Okami. Uh, Okami I don't know how to pronounce their names. I'm really bad at it. Uh, here's some artwork. I think Sid showed this off earlier. Yeah, my sister did Link over here and Batman up here. And then I did the watercolor Pokemon. Yeah. And then uh, this wall used to be covered in artwork too. And then I got rid of all of that so I could project my Switch. Uh, so what I do... This is in the way, in an awful way. This dang tripod. Yeah, popcorn salt is delicious. This stuff's like, it's just butter flavored, but man, it's so no, good. It's butter and salt flavored because it's salt. Well, yeah. That's the part that we like, is the salt. Uh, so anyway, I cleaned this wall off so that I could have... Uh, my Switch set right here. These are to clean out old cartridge games. They're not just... I don't just have, like, really dirty ears. <laughs> so I set my projector here, project onto that wall, and it ends up being, like, uh, 
this big. It's it's a big screen when I do that, so I love being able to project the switch. Uh, let's get this out of here. This is the switch projector. We'll just move it over here for now. Yeah, yeah. I hope this isn't making anybody sick. I'm doing a lot of a lot of pan in here. These are Super Nintendo games. Um, I don't really have a huge Super Nintendo collection. Super Nintendo games are really expensive. Anybody that collects them would be able to tell you that. So I have uh, a lot of cheap ones. Most of these were less than $10. And the ones that were expensive um, are few and far between. But like this one... Uh, Mr. Nuts, this is like a hundred dollar game and I got it for five dollars. Oh, I took the sticker off, but I got it for five dollars at a pawn shop. That was pretty sweet. Uh, next up, PS1. We got these box Donkey Kong Country games from Japan. Those were super cheap. If you ever want to get into Super Nintendo collecting, the thing to remember is that you can get every Super Nintendo game cheaper if you get the Japanese version for the uh, Super Famicom, which is just their version of the Super Nintendo. Looks like that. Uh, so these are all PS1 games. Yeah, I got all the Spyro games recently. Where is that? Right there. Um, all of these. This one here, Jumping Flash 2. I actually bought this for Dave, and I've got I've to mail it to him. I haven't mailed it to him yet, but I wanted to record Sid and I playing it before I mail it to him. Uh, but I was in a game store, and I text Dave and said, hey, you want... Or, uh, I think I texted him and I said, hey, is there anything y'all are looking for? And he told me he wanted this or something. I can't remember how it worked. Uh, but other PS1 games. PSP games, I don't have a ton of those. Um, this Switch box is full of my N64 games, except for this one. See you later, Spike Cakes. Take it easy, man. Thanks bye. for stopping by. Yes, it says bye. Um... This is a Super Nintendo Mini, which was like a hardware revision for the Super Nintendo. And they're really cool. Um, they run uh, FX chip games slightly better, uh, but they also do some things slightly worse. Uh, but this is a really cool system. I always wanted a Super Nintendo Mini, and I finally got one. These are some boards from some Game Boy games I had to disassemble. Um, had to. This is the Game Boy box, <laughs> so uh, this is all just like Game Boy games and um, assorted stuff. And then this over here is uh, Game Gear games. So we got some Game Gear games. There's a Game Boy Color, um, all of that. Uh, over here. We got, I know that this is a Labo stream, and I know Sid's back there putting it all together, so we're going to go visit her again pretty soon, but, like, right now, where are you? I'm on top of air. Okay, good. We'll be back. Uh, these are Genesis games. Um, most of the Genesis games I have, well, I guess not most, but... A lot of them are in the box because Genesis games are way cheaper boxed than any other system because these boxes are made of plastic and they held up really, really well. So Super Nintendo and NES games uh, were both in cardboard boxes and they didn't hold up very well. They just fell apart. So uh, Genesis games held up really well. You can find a lot of them in boxes, and usually a Genesis game in the box is very close to the same price as a loose Genesis game. Uh, these are all Japanese Super Nintendo games or Super Famicom games. Uh, this is Yoshi's Island, Donkey Kong Country. There's a whole bunch of them. They're basically all Mario games. Uh, Oregon Trail... Uh, this binder is full of Dreamcast and 3DO games, um, and I don't have any of those in boxes. They're all just loose discs. 
And then uh, probably the biggest collection is these NES games. Um, I, I really like the NES stuff. So I've got a lot of NES games kind of piled up around here. And then up here, we got a couple of Switch boxes of games I haven't opened yet. Um, we got GameCube games all across the back. Um, that copy of Star Wars The Phantom Menace on the PS1 up there is uh, unopened. And uh, I bought it because it was $7 and ended up being worth a ton of money. And then um, Pokemon Typing Adventure was only released in Europe. That but I cool. imported that. Yeah, Sid and I played that a little while. Showed a camera? Yeah, I haven't seen that. See you later, Corey. Have a good day, man. I didn't even know Corey was there. Oh, yeah, Corey was here. Hi, Corey. Bye, Corey. <laughs> These are uh, PS2 games. Metropolis Mania. Right there. Boom. It's got this empty box in front of it. Uh, yeah, Ray sent me Metropolis Mania, and he also sent me uh, Shadow Hearts. Oh, whoops. Shadow Hearts. And then there's all those, and then there's Xbox games in the corner, and there's an Xbox. And that's everything, pretty much. That's that's everything that's in this room. I've got some other little things in some other places. Hey, Jizo. Hey, so Jizo. Sid's, Sid's over here in deep concentration. Putting this thing together. So we're we're doing the fishing rod, for those of you that just came. Um, and I'm going to have to put my phone on the tripod probably. So that's going to change our dynamic here a little bit. I know I'm, I'm spinning in circles a lot and stuff, but that's about to stop once I get this on a tripod. So bear with me, uh, cause I'm going to have to take my phone out of the gimbal. Yeah. Ow. Snapped my finger in that. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I was using this thing to move y'all around, uh, and this is so cool, because look, like you can, you turn this thing on, and it just uh, holds your phone, oh, whoops. Oh, you got that ready? Anyway, you turn this thing on, it holds your phone uh, steady, so you can move it around like this, and it'll always stay level. But now you're in my hands, so say goodbye to that. Luxury? Yeah, sweet luxury. All right, here's my face again. I'm going to get you in this tripod, hopefully. Ooh. Yeah, it's got a gyrometer in it, and that gyrometer and motor work together uh, so that anytime the phone is off of level, it puts it back uh, at level. So, I mean, you can really, like, swing that thing around, and it uh, will keep it level. Yeah, that's right. You're in good hands. Don't worry. I don't think you're level anymore, but that's okay. All right, let me get you pointed. Since you're on a tripod now, there won't be any more movement, uh, but I'll still be... You'll still be moving around for everyone else. Yeah, this thing is in the way of the camera. Sorry about that. I don't know how to... I don't really know how to fix that. Uh, so I guess it's going to be there. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, Sid's been a lot of help getting the game room the way I want it. I think if I put the phone the other way, it'll actually be worse. Well, maybe not. Let me try. Eh. Eh. Hands. Uh, no, it won't let me flip it. You can only have it this way. I can put it all the way on the edge, though. That's okay. There we go. Now y'all don't see that little nub. How should we do this? Should it be right here? I'm trying to get less of Sid 
in this camera. Not because I don't want Sid in the camera, but... Because Sid doesn't want Sid in the camera. Uh, it's okay, we're good. Then I can plug in my charger and eventually I'll take it off of the uh, stand and everything again. All right, I've got all this put together and here's the Joy-Con. Nice. Slot. Sweet, so that's uh, the whole rod. Oh, you got it all. Nice. So now we got to put together the tough part. Yes. I'll just point this over here and we'll deal with it. Oh, I won't be able to see the chat if I go over there, though. Dang it. Why? Um, here, just mark them. Okay. Got a decent amount of battery, amount of battery. I'm going to switch to Sid's phone for the chat here, so bear with me for a moment. Lair is live. Is he, though? Is he? All right. Yeah, now I can see that chat. Let's see, are we positioned? I'm going to be a little crooked, but that's probably okay. This is the first time I've actually popped anything out of here. It's so satisfying. I don't know why you haven't done it already. Oh, wow. Dang. Almost ripped one. <laughs> Sid's, like, successfully done this whole thing, and I the first one, I almost ripped it. That That is very easy. It, you... Dang it! <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> well, that's this all, that, that's all you need, all of out of this, so you can just like wear it. Yeah. <gasps> it's beautiful! I want to attach my Joy-Con. Okay. Do I bend this? Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to bend it. I bent it a little. <laughs> it's alright. Can't you be more like Ribbon Girl? Sure. Sure I can. Uh, what am I doing with these? You're just holding them for now. Oh, thanks, Paula. I have a Jeep. I have a Jeep now. I've had a Jeep. I have. Oh, Morgan's 15 minutes away? That means we have 15 minutes of stream left, people. Oh, you better hurry it up. I'm trying. I've been working so hard I over know. here. You have. Everybody give Sid a round of applause in the chat for all of her hard work. I'm going to give you a round of applause. Why is the middle finger emoji under frequently used, Sydney? <laughs> I am concerned. That's no reason. Weird. At least I, I don't send it to you. That is true. I'm still going to give you a round of applause. Got it. Got it. It only goes to Morgan. Sydney has a weird double life she's leaving. I forgot this cardboard was on my head because I can't feel it yeah. until I wiggle. Okay, totally so cool. we have to take the rest out of C and D, so you can get started on D. Have Ray said, it. Ray said, she keeps sending me middle fingers. I have never sent him a middle finger. So I'm looking at, I'm looking at sheet D here, um, and I'm taking everything out of it. Yes. So this is a piece. a lot of pieces the heck it is very simple to pop these out like if you've ever done this before and had trouble like removing things that were perforated this is far from that it is just yeah, I mean, like leave those experiences in the past because this is a whole new thing like look i'm barely using any pressure at all and they just they just pop right out of there it's crazy it's like when 
you get that first like sheet of real thin sheet of ice when the weather starts to to freeze and you just like tap the ice on top of some water and it just kind of goes see you later paula bye paula have a good day up there you got these things have a good sure. life you don't have to have just a good day have a good life i'm pretty sure these come out Stop breaking things. <laughs> Dang it. These are uh, trash. What are we doing with trash? I've been putting it right here. Okay. Not Except trash. it's starting to get... Oh, no. Those are all trash. You got these two little tabby things. This is getting out of hand. Out of are hand. you done yet? No, I'm not done. I mean, yeah, I'm done. But... No, you're not. Shh. Enough. It's like a dog trying to walk through a doorway with a stick. <laughs> you know, when you see them. Uh, trash. Oh, I accidentally hit this cardboard against the cardboard in my head and remember that I had cardboard in my head. What are you doing? Nothing. Just taking Vince's suggestion. I thought the trash went on Blair's head. I didn't see that. <laughs> okay, that goes there. I want this bird to pop out. See, there's a little bird there? I want that to pop out. Okay. See it? We're going to go on. Oh, it's all got water on it. And it's got a little picture of a fish with a hook. Move along. Y'all can't see that. I mean, I'm like, I'm so far away from the camera. There's no way I can see any of the stuff. Oh, crap. No way I can see any of the stuff I'm pointing at. We may have to leave this uh, the stream in suspense. We may have to. We may have to continue it later. That's what might happen. Oh, whoops! I put trash in the park pile. How dare you! And Was this... it your head trash? No. I mean, obviously not. I put some trash on your head. Oh, and I don't see it anymore. Pop in the. Oh, you. Oh. Yes, you pop those out. <laughs> if it looks like it's perforated all the way around, you just go ahead and pop that out. Okay. This is real. Nintendo, good job. I'm, I'm having we're, fun playing with cardboard. We're proud. We're proud of Nintendo. I'm playing with dang cardboard. Okay, this doesn't have any creases, so I'm not going to fold it yet, but I'm pretty yeah. sure it folds right in the center. Yeah, don't don't fold anything until we... Crease along the fold lines, one by one. They can't see any of the instructions. That's yet. all right. Uh, yeah, we're still in the fishing rod. It takes a while. Morgan's gonna be excited to see this, by the way. Yeah. Insert the tabs into the slots, starting with the biggest one. I'm kind of in the way of what you're doing there. Yeah, that's okay. I went too far forward. Also. Is there a place for putting used sheets? Uh, Puss is laying on them. Oh. <laughs> she'll be fine. Yeah, but she'll be mad at me, and I don't want her to be mad. Okay. Insert the okay, yeah. the slots. You did that. Oh. Insert yes, the I small did. Ah, why did you go forward? Sorry. I was obviously making a, a sound that suggested that <laughs> I had done it wrong. Yeah, there, there. you go. You're holding that. Under the table. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, obviously. Yeah, that's okay. Oh my God. Ooh, this is a fun shape. This doesn't seem to be equal on all sides, but that's okay. Whatever. Okay. Well, what is... Okay, I guess stuff snaps into this. Yes. These do, in fact. These are the parts that become the two... The right and left sides of the reel. The two parts are identical. So it doesn't matter which way we go. Okay. I'm just going to put it together. Good job, babe. Watch the next step. Do not put it together. Just fold these three tabs. 
We did that. See, we're putting together the reel right now. Now hold these three tabs. Okay. Okay, so you can go ahead to the next part while I put this together. Oh, we gotta connect um, the Papa Bear to it. What? Where's the Papa Bear? Right here. No. Jeez, <laughs> The one with the tab. Okay, yeah, she turn it around for me. So we're. It, see the little at blue it dot? Like this. Blue dot, right there. Okay. Okay. And the controller part is going to go to the right side of the blue dot. Yes. Okay. Got it! Expertly done. What am I doing? <laughs> How do I do this? Yeah, this is... Uh, 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 uh. Does it go through that other hole? Yes. Okay. Okay, I see. It's okay. I got it. It's just a little bit broken. What? It's not broken. I Come worked in. way too hard for you to break my. It's not broken. My. It's just a little bit broken, as I previously said. All right. So we're putting uh, these little tabs in here. Yes. Look at that. Oh, whoops. What have you done? Can this go in the end here? Yes. Nice. Presto. A fishing rod. No, no, no. No fishing rod. Dang, I forgot this was on my head. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Here we go. Moving right along. Okay. I am ready for some fishing action. This is awesome. This is what's next. That's so cool. Uh, the line's coming. Uh, ben, I can't imagine that many. Um, but I'm going to have to find a place. How many times will this be used before it's broken? Oh. You know, we should have gotten a two-year warranty on it. I bet it wouldn't cover that. It'd probably just cover the software. But you can buy replacements. Replacement cardboards, apparently. Yeah, I mean, it's just cardboard. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, we've got the fishing line here. We're going to put that in in a little bit. And once we do that, it'll look a little bit more like a uh, fishing rod. But we're getting to it. I don't think we're going to finish it in this stream because we've got a friend coming over and my best when she gets here we'll probably stop or we'll keep going I, I don't know she'll probably want to we could keep going she could just sit over there somewhere out of the way fishing planet mod oh that would be so cool okay the lab this, it's so. really cool how much weight this has to it because it's lightweight but it feels solid and like I can swing it all around it doesn't feel like it's going to break and that's really neat. What is that? It stops the Joy-Con from going all the way through it. Okay. Sid built this. I think it goes in the the rod, like the reeling part. Hold this piece in half and attach it like so. There's another piece that's the same shape, but the markings are different. Where is that one then? Oh, it must be this one. Yep. <laughs> you continue. I'll go get that. Alright, so our, oh, our guest is here, so I'm going to be continuing. She's not a guest. She's family. Solo Mio. Fold this piece in half and attach it like so. 
Oh, it's scary to fold this in half. It is scary. I don't feel like I should fold this in half. <laughs> Forrest, please. Whoa. thing so it goes on the outside and this goes on the inside and then this goes oh boy I see what's happening here Now do the same thing on the other side. What? What now? I don't. I think these parts here are supposed to go inside of something. Yeah, the dogs go crazy when somebody comes over. Nope, they're not. They just sit like that for now. So we got these little wings, and now we got to do the same thing. This piece that Sid had. So we're folding, we're creasing, and then we're gonna put this piece on exactly the way we did that other piece. All right, that's pretty cool. Feels solid. <laughs> See you later, Doge. Take it easy, man. Okay. We did it. Time for this piece that looks like glasses. That's this piece. Uh, lay it out, print it side down. And once you fold it in half, slide it right into the middle there. Middle of what? It's important to get it facing the right way. Okay, so there's a marking. See, there's a little line on here, and we have to get this line um, lined up with this line. So, it looks something like Not like that, not like that. Cancel, cancel. Um, I mean, it looks something like this. I don't know how it holds on there. Oh, it goes all the way to the center. Wait, how? Because there's these little tabs on here. Oh, okay. So that's on the center of this now. See you later, Ben. Take it easy, man. So then... 